Hey guys, this tutorial is about web page design in Photoshop. So what we're trying to achieve is this layout. So in the video, I'll be showing you step by step how I created this website. So before we start, I've got some files that you can use. So you can go to creativeastro.tv and download the exercise files and also the PSD files. So the first thing you want to do is to open a new document and uh, the dimensions needs to be width of 1200 height of 1800 click ok add a background color to this layer by pressing command backspace what we need to do next is to create some rectangles onto the areas where the uh, images are going to go so i'm going to start here by pressing the uh, rectangle tool so i'm going to draw my first rectangle so that's where my main image is going to go. Uh, at this stage, the color doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to draw four more rectangles. Now, here's a quick tip. If you want to create these rectangles fast, all you need to do is to hold down the Alt key and then click and drag. So I'm holding down the Alt key so you can see this is how you can duplicate it. Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time and draw another one. So I've pressed Command T to get the, trans uh, the transformation tool so that we can resize it. So just remember that Command T to transform. Okay, I'm gonna press Enter to commit to that. I'm gonna Alt and drag again. Command T to resize, I mean to transform and resize. Right, for this one, I'm going to change the color because um, the colors are too similar, so we can't see the distinctions. So I'm just going to choose um, that gray. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Command T. So this is where all our content is going to go. So next, uh, what you need to do is to start adding the text. So I'm just going to type in home. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. So the main font we're going to use for this design is Helvetica. So I'm going to come here to Helvetica. And I'll just reduce the size to about maybe 28 for now. Press T for the type tool. Click and drag where the text is going to go and then just press Command V. Highlight it again, align left and then make this italic. So we've got one more shape we need to add for our testimonial section and then choose Ellipse tool. Okay, so I'm going to hold the Shift key, click and drag like that. Let's change the color. We're going to use yellow for now. So this is looking good so far. So this is where we're going to add the uh, the picture for the testimonial. Okay, so now we need to add color. So to add color, what I did is I went to Adobe Cooler. So what you could do here is you can explore. So what I did is I just typed in restaurant. So this is a very good starting point because it gives you an idea of what sort of colors you need to use for your website. So once you choose, say for example, you go for this one, what you then do is uh, you take a screenshot of this and then import it into Photoshop. Before we go to the color, I'd like to rearrange these layers so it's very, very easy to work with. This area here is the header area. So I'm gonna click on this rectangle so I can see where I am. I'm going to hold shift key and then click on the menu. Right, so those two are the uh, elements that go on the heading for on the header area. So I'm going to press command G. So that's going to group it. So I'm going to name this header. And then we've got this area here, this middle area. So again, I'm going to just click all the layers, hold the shift key that and then click the text that goes with it 
and then press Command G. Main area. So now let's move on and start adding all the images. So eventually our website should be looking like this. So as I mentioned, we have a folder uh, which I've created for you. It, it has all the files that you need. In fact, it also has the PSDs, so you don't have to create everything from scratch. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and uh, go to that folder. So once you've uh, subscribed or signed up onto Creative Astro TV, you'll have access to all these files. And these are the images that we're going to use throughout this whole project. Okay. So back into Photoshop. So now, the most important thing, I'm just going to disable this palette uh, for now. The most important thing is to click and then drag the image in. And I'll show you in a little bit why we need to do that. Right, so I've clicked and here's my, here's my folder, okay, which has all the images. Right, so the main image we need is this one here. And I've got this image from iStock. So I'm going to drag it straight onto my desk, onto my Photoshop document. And I'm just going to drag it into position like that. Now, press enter. Now I know that this image is above that rectangle. So all I have to do now is to hold the Alt key and create a clipping mask. Right? So move your mouse between the layer, the top layer and the rectangle layer like that. And then this has clipped into place. So now you can move it around or if you want to make it bigger, you can just press Command T enlarge it and re uh, resize it like that until you're happy with it. Press enter and we've added our first image. Right, let's move on to the second one, which is the specials. So you again, click on that rectangle, go on to the specials, drag that image in like that. Press enter scroll down to the layers, hold down the Alt key, between the two layers, you will see this square with a down arrow. Once you see that, click, and now it's brought into that shape. So again, you can just move it around until you're happy with it. Click on the text, move the text around. Ideally, you want the text on the dark area so it's easy to read. So I'm going to change this a little bit because uh, it's too bold. So I'm going to go to thin because I think thin works better. Increase the size. I'm going to do the same with the price. Come up here, bring it up here so we can read it. And then reduce the size all the way down to about say 30. Let's just change the color of the price. So I've highlighted it. Click on this. Um, area here and then just choose a color from the food like that so that's one way of keeping consistency with your colors okay so so far it's looking good and I'm happy with it so let's go on to the top here and uh, fix this menu so double click that layer so I'm going to choose the color okay so I'm going to highlight the color palette now let's choose the color from here. Let's go with this, click OK. So I'm happy with that. The size is a bit too big. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to select it all, make it a bit smaller, maybe 24. OK, so now we need to uh, make sure that this logo is visible. So we're going to add a shape behind it. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just draw a shape. We're going to choose the color. So I'm going to double click on the shape. Could try red. That could work well. So as you can see, the rectangle is above the, uh, the, text, the text layer. So all you need to do is just to drag it on the top so that it's visible. Right. Okay. I'm going to disable this palette for now. So, so far it's looking good. So what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and add the images that need to go on these areas. So I'm going to do one example and then I'll let you do the rest and then we can move on. All right. So 
food and drink is this one. I'm going to drag it on. Press enter. Hold the alt key and then click to create the clipping mask. Now you can see that the image is way too big. So I'm going to press command T like that. Okay. That looks better. Now we have a problem. This text is, is quite difficult to read because it's white and there are a lot of the elements behind there are of a similar color. So one trick I, I use is to create a gradient. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this layer add a layer and then go to the marquee tool and then select an area and add a gradient. So I'm going to click on the gradient tool and then make sure it's color to transparent and then just click, hold the shift key and then drag. Right. So straight away you can see that now it's easy to read this. So I'm going to press command D. So now I'm just going to go in and maybe adjust this instead of calling it the best restaurant, we just call it the restaurant for professional athletes. Okay. Like that. So and then make this bigger. So just by adding that gradient, it's much easier for us to read what is here. Okay. So again, you want to do the similar thing here where we have these small rectangles. And here you can see now it's quite easy to read. In fact, you can go ahead and uh, change the font here to a thin or even regular. Let's try regular. Okay. That's much better. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the before and after. So that's before that's after. It's a subtle change, but it's much easier to read. I'll do the same here on the top. It's before, after. So making that change is very, very important. It just makes it easier for, uh, for people to read what's on your website. So this is how you create the layout in Photoshop. So if you've done everything and you've added all the images, you should have a layout that looks pretty much similar to this. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, in the next videos, I'll be showing you how to convert this design into a fully functioning website. So there you have it. This is how you design a web page layout in Photoshop.